Hey, James G. here. On this episode of Persona Studio One Series, uh, I'm going to discuss the Global Arranger tool. This is a wonderful tool that I've actually just somewhat recently uh, discovered and I use uh, on every single thing that I do now. It's, <laughs> it's so great. It makes things a lot cleaner and easier to tell. It's definitely a tool you want to use if you're you know, doing a ton of songwriting and you kind of want to have the roadmap. Maybe you've got you know a guitar guy that's coming in to do the lead part or something like that, and it's just it gives you a complete roadmap of that, especially for you songwriters. So, very simple to find. It's over here. This is our global visibility, our track visibility um, that we can add. We've we've done a video on the markers, which are very important also, and I will kind of tell you the coalition between those two. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to pull up my arranger here. Now, what the arranger is doing is it's going to be able to color coordinate sections of your song, and not to mention that it actually you can it will actually include all that song underneath um, if you need to cut and paste as well. So uh, I don't really know for sure, but I'm just going to kind of make up some here. So I'm going to double click right here on the arranger. So let's say this is the beginning of my intro, okay, which makes sense. Um, and then I can just, um, oh, don't do that. All right, so I'm going to make the intro here. So that is my intro. Now I can double click on this. It starts right there. If I right click on it, then I can actually change the color of that, whatever it is. I can double click here to change the name of it. So I'll put verse one. Um, and then I'm going to put what I think this whole verse is. So, so like, let, let's say it's that far. Um, and then I'm going to go here. I'm going to double click. Uh, I'm going to double click again. I'm going to start another one. Let's just say that this will be the verse. We'll just make it yellow. We're going to put, I mean, the chorus. We'll put the chorus there. And you do this throughout your whole entire song. Now, the other cool thing is not only do you visually get to see where the verses and choruses are, you can actually take this section. Now, it is gonna it is basically flagged off this whole entire section down here, too. So if I take that and I say uh, cut or copy, I'm just going to copy it. I could go over here and paste the whole entire section. So I literally just pasted that whole course or that whole verse there. Um, so it's really crazy, especially if you're doing something that, you know, you, you've got this course and you just want to duplicate it and you want to do, you know, some people will like to just cut and edit and do it that way. Um, you, I tend to uh, perform all of them myself, but sometimes you, you can't. Or maybe somebody said, hey, uh, this isn't long enough. I need to add another uh, course at the end. And, you know, you can't get all the musicians back in there. And it's kind of a nice thing to do. Uh, the other thing is, is we had talked about the markers. Now, these will not give you quick locators like the markers do down here on this bottom. So you still want to have those markers if you just want to go from section to section to section. However, they even make it easier for that. So I go down to marker, and I have my verse and chorus. I can right-click on here. I can say create markers from arranger sections. Bam. <laughs> and it already adds my verse and chorus, and now I can actually go to and from these with my uh, locators down here. So it's incredibly cool tool um, in, and just use it to your advantage. I, but I'll show, what I do is I, you know, my verses are one color, my courses are one color, and I've got leads of color or bridges of color just to kind of help me visually you know, like that. But I will set everything up, hit my markers and locators and bam, the song is ready to go. Completely arranged. <laughs>